I think I understand Dr. Cray's fascination with me. He was looking to master the link between human and alien DNA, but he never came close until the infection inside me. For some reason, the mutagen reacts differently. It's evolved further than even he imagined it could. Hello and welcome everybody. This is your host, Leo Vak, and you are just in time for more Area 51 in the last episode. We are experiencing interference with the command system. We have intermittent contact with base security elements. Link up with them in the weapons lab. I repeat, Cole, the command system is being jammed. Link up with base personnel in the weapons lab. Anyway, in the last episode, we met Dr. Cray. We also saw the end of his life, too. The contagion that discharges from your body, it seeks life. Its purpose, to infect the next host. The chain of death prevails. Hmm. Well, that's what the contagion does. Now here we got some of some damn meat. It is yellow grenade classification. Oh, yeah, that, that'd be more hurts. Good. Oh, okay. Good. Where did that come from? There's going to be something in there and it's drilled a hole through the wall. Yeah, so we need to find a we need to find a way to to establish communication with our uh, oh does that work with our unit? I guess not our unit, but our commanding officer. Retinal scan complete. Access granted. Move. Nor I see a creature this. The bias screen on my first intention is to always see. Oh, let's see, let's see where it came from and see if it actually makes sense as to why it's there. Most of the time, it doesn't. Ooh. <laughs> Can't catch me. Okay, so it looks like there's lasers. We can find some way to shut it off. Or at least move it. Possibly. Um, honestly, I don't remember. I'm trying to remember now what we need to do with it. Um, if there's even anything we need to do, there's a contagious body with a dead corpse. There's a body we can't really do anything interact with at all. Uh, oh, there we go. I'm gonna solve the dot here. Ah! Found the legs of the door above. Suddenly things make sense. Let's see if we can find the other... There we go. Some grenades, some SMP ammo. And. Ah. Ah, that's good. That's good contagion. Or me, uh, me, whatever. Mutagen, whatever. And there we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now it's oh. But some of the kids are still fighting afterwards, so I'm gonna assume I remember being that 
Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Hello? Okay, so, um... Where did it look? Yes. Hmm. Sure, I know there are kind of rooms in that area. Change what? Oh, yeah, okay, so yeah, he starts firing at other people. And I know. And I'm dead. Oh. Oh, these things. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Suddenly I remember them all too well. Yeah, alien parasitic creatures. That's what these things are. Hmm. Not a, not a particularly difficult deal with when you, we do actually start dealing with them, they're just, oh, uh, more or less nuisances. Oh, the behind the thing. Thing only pros can do. Yeah, because fire a sniper, because fire a sniper is on a game. It's so difficult to do. You hear? Any Okay, go. That was terrible. That was just wow. Just nothing at all went my way. Okay. Hmm. We're going further. I want to make. I don't know. It's like this is what we need to have. Yeah, yeah, I can head to weapon researcher. Get that relay right. Next, let's get the turret tech lab. Well, that's not good. Guys. Really hoping I can save you. Mm. I kind of want, it does kind of make me 
wonder though. Like it's just it's just a sudden realization I got. A lot of games we have to protect people. And we're not gonna to protect them. Protect them. That's why we kind of rebel become bad guys in a lot of games to the Good, good, good or bad characters, like stuff like they fall out, for example, or uh, the Skyrim series, the Elder, excuse me, the Elder Scrolls series, Skyrim game. Um, so it makes me wonder, we're given a lot of situations where we had to try to save someone, but we weren't able to. What is, didn't have led us to rebel in trying to be good? Because now it's like, oh, well, screw you, game. I don't care what you say. I'm going to try and save this guy. Because you don't want me to. Because the whole thing, the whole thing of being an e e evil character is because the game doesn't want us to be malicious. I could probably go to the movie for me. I was trying to get, I was trying to get at least a bit of music in from them, but apparently it wasn't working. Oh. Uh, down? There we go. Yeah, I think it's confusing this event for a ladder. But when you're going up and down ladders, I don't think I mentioned this before. When you're going up and down ladders, you do need to go, uh, up and down on the, on the keypad, like W goes up, S or D e goes down. Oh! Oh! There we go! Okay, so this is the BBG. Don't worry, Doc, I'll save you this time! No! No! They were saving this time. Okay, the more the more I start thinking about it, it's not so much the fact that we're doing evil deeds because the game tells us to, it's because the game it's because life tells us not to. So it's because so in a way we're rebelling against people. Or against society, I should say. I mean, not honestly, I can't really, I can't really say because I can't relate to anyone who would sit there and blatantly play an evil character. Because, I just, I don't, for one, one I don't think in, in black and white morality, good and evil. There are people who intend to have malicious causes towards other people, but may be good. I mean, there, there are plenty of people that do mean things unintentionally. And they do it in the name of, of justice or whatever. And they think they're completely in the right. And there are people that do good things because they're trying to put up a facade. A facade. And how do you. Some of that problem. Like, I'm sure these guys are just all, you know, they just, they're not evil. Let's get that in, BBG. So, the BBG. This is a bouncing projectile that fires. No fire, fire three shot, and you notice it replenishes over time. They also explode after a while. Now, neat thing here, secondary fire, right click. You see the bounce pass, so 
if you're looking at something really crazy here. It also takes up a bit of ammo. So keep that in mind. Um, Yeah, so it doesn't seem to have so it only bounces off one time. Okay. Only bounces off one time. That's kind of sad. Oh. Um, so we can actually do okay. Actually, this one might actually help. No, this is where the guy upstairs, so we can actually, yeah, we can actually go down here. I think we might have gone this way earlier than we should have. Which is okay with me. Um, yeah, I'm... Ooh. Run into the back four. And insta kill. One well placed shot. Um oh, there it died. I'm not sure if we technically need that, but it takes so little ammo when you look at the hole. The hole. Now, the only downside of this is that it does take a little bit to get ammo back up. Weapon not charged. Oh, oh, this is a weapon. Oh, it's a cannon. Suddenly that now makes sense. Um. Weapon fusion charging. Come on, is this the one I think I'm thinking of? This is, I think I might know how to do this puzzle. I think we need to just. I think we need to move some things around before we can actually. Before we actually want to fire. I mean, we can fire it now, but I think we have to recharge and. Firing sequence initiated. Um. Oh. Never mind. So. Okay. Firing sequence initiated. And you may notice we have some moves on the screen. And not anymore. Oh god. Yeah, we got some more enemies. And... There's go. Uh, or not. Because it's happened to be under... Well, whatever. Firing sequence I'm going to go back for a little I believe those can actually hurt you. The, the, the explosives from the, from our, from the gut. Whoa! Oh, that was Um, oh, oh, there we go. Okay. So one thing, Light Rifle and the BBG have no lights on them. So that might be another disadvantage. Um. Oh, I know what we need to do now. That makes sense. I remember this now. 
need to charge the weapon to fire, it's the... We didn't need to fire, what we needed is we needed to drop the flash shield here. So that we can walk across it. Why? Well, we get to the other side. <laughs> the chicken had a good the chicken had a good point. So yeah, we got a bunch of uh Um, 